Here we go again. Yeah, we're right here to start off the very uh, lovely art of, uh, you know, clothing we called Arabian pants. Yeah, we got very unusual. One of the one of my most favorite uh, works as a designer. Yeah, we go. Arabian pants. Making of an Arabian pants, you have to really allow a very wide environment so they can allow you structure your designs because you need as much as four to five years of uh, materials to begin the cut. Naturally, you will begin to wonder how does this art, how do you achieve it? How can you imagine the art? when it is a finished work. So, first of all, allow the spread of the fabric, fold it to two, then create a concept. There is no specific way of doing it, but you can imagine how you want to start your own structure before cutting. So, as an artist, I just have to build my concept by forming my mood and a structure to create a natural way of imagining how it looks like when it is warm. So I have to form a loud pleat first and foremost. Make it look like the original work after finished. So when you build up the food and you give it that formation of um, Deep, deep pleats around the the crotch areas because you know the crotch is always about 16 to 20 inches down depending on the concept if you want it low make it as much as 13 14 inches but if you want to make it make the right very low make it up to 20 inches depending on how you want to form it so this is just the food around the crotch area you form on like this So you put your waist, if it's close to what you want, then you still have to allow it to open up again, which means you've gotten what you want. That is the first stage. Now you fold, walk into two, that is four. is because it requires a, a large environment because the table the cutting table is usually smaller than the fabric so you have to look for a way to any imaginable way you can use to create space yeah create space for yourself the most important thing is to observe the measurement of the ankle so I'm using about the base of pattern which is this Observe the rise, the rise gives you up to 1920. What is this? Here we go. My own concept is different from a regular fashion designer. So, what I do, I have what I call uh, the eye plum concept, meaning I, I, I have almost 90% of the measurements in my head, even when I see it. Guess the weight of any particular measurement, 10, 20, 25, the quarter, half, or eight, or this one, that. Oh, so yeah. I have them all in my print. Oh, so yeah. that gives me the measurement. That's what makes a designer. Yeah. So that's the difference between a designer and a tailor. I trim my rough edges. Lens. This is 
the middle of this the west region I'm not only just to observe the center of the folded piece okay. that's the end of marching there we go the opponent this is the call but you see it looks very funny mm -hmm. doesn't it it is <laughs> it's very funny it's unimaginable you can you have to someone one have to wonder how does this creativity come to be Something wearable, something very unique. Most artists, most celebrities, most actors, they go on Arabian pens during uh, most unique functions like movie premieres, mm. like um, red carpet functions, as much as that. This is one of my 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 most appreciated design. Mm -hmm. so, observe the front because I have to put um, bar on the front. 
front so i choose to use one of the um, front areas to create a zipper line the rise so don't mind me i have a straight hand most people might not have a straight hand like me i i studied fine art so i had a lot of uh, knowledge about free hand sketching so when i draw a line it goes straight so this is the front area here we go this is the back area so this is the shape for the front there we go this is the rise the rise falls about um, 19 to 20 inches so in this space you create your zip area put your zipper then mark it from here then turn the the rise that is it this is the back area so in this back area i'm not going to separate it i'm going to sew it around during the sewing so this one should be kept aside let's see so all i will do now is since I'm using the uh, the rope the strange pattern I have to fold one and a half inch from the back and observe my pocket space notching about half inch Observing about six and a half depth, six and a half inches, the pocket space, or seven, there about six and a half, or notch, half inch. That will create my pocket space. And then I will fix the pocket during the sewing. So the pocket will be like this. So guys, you guys saw everything. That is the making of the Arabian pens. In preparation for the pantheon, the fashion should Yes. When the finished product comes out, we're going to bring it up to you. Cheers and have a great day. That is Dabri Kenchi. The man that has a sense of aesthetics. The greatest designer in Africa. Europe and America. Very good. Guys, thank you for watching.